Hi, I'm Johanna, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my little uh, laundry area. We live in a single wide mobile home, so we have a really skinny little hallway, and it's got a little pop out area, and that is where the washer and dryer are. We have some cabinets. Um, it used to be pretty much like a kind of a dumping ground. I had some things, boxes of things, and setting on the dryer and it just would get cluttered up you know you know dumping grounds everything gets put there um i also used to like stick things in the hall uh, along the other wall um bags of bags and just whatever uh now i i have my vacuum cleaner there but that's about it um so i did little simple things you know nothing major and nothing spectacular but just little things that were easy to do on the spur of, a, of the moment with no money and with just stuff I had laying around the house just common sense stuff but for some reason I didn't think of doing it before um, so that's just what I'm sharing with you today and I hope you maybe get a little bit of encouragement to work on some small area in your home that you know um, you can improve to make it functional and to make it work for you. So a while back, probably a couple months ago, I decided to redo my laundry room. And it's not really a room, it's a laundry area. I live in a single wide, and that's where the, the vacuum lives, unfortunately. That's about the only place we can find for it right now. We have a little hamper basket right there for towels. And got this little basket for a dollar secondhand store for lint and this used to be really hard to deal with because everything was just thrown in this spot like the brooms and two brooms and two dust pans and a mop and everything I had stuff just sitting and piled up on top of the dryer and it was always a mess always had stuff that I'd come and just set in the hall in the walkway practically um, so what I did was I used what I had I didn't buy anything um, and I just glamorously hung up nails and hung up the broom and the mop put the dustpan down on the floor and I used this basket that I had already bought at the Goodwill previously um, fold up my Walmart bags or whatever little bags and put in the basket. I had this frame and I got that print free online and this is my little skirt to hide that. Because after I was done in here I thought it looks kind of cute but oh my goodness what am I going to do about that? So I just hot glued some fabric to the wall to look like a curtain and I hung up this old um, I was drying rack. It was my mom's. Um, another thing I did, which doesn't look great, but I took off the old handles that were here and they were plastic and they were really bad. And I painted some that we took out of the kitchen and they don't really fit, but I painted them black. <laughs> At some point, maybe they'll actually get whole screwed and, um, finished, but yeah, and so um, I just used things that I already had and I just hung things up on the wall and decided that I wasn't going to clutter up the dryer anymore. And so that really helped. I don't have a lot of extra stuff in here. And then last week, I have kids that are artists. And so I decided I would use this hall wall here to put all of their artwork. It doesn't quite fit like I wanted. But, we have this ugly uh, light switch that this picture was too close to, so I had to move things down, and that's just the way it's going to be. And I would like to get, well, that, I should get the paint off the floor, but I would like to get a cute runner in here. I think that would be nice, so I'm looking for one of those. Not looking hard, but looking. Yeah, so, I like, I like it now. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but it works for me. It's uncluttered, stays uncluttered, 
and I have, uh, you know, I have a place to put the dirty towels from the bathroom. I have lint, a place to put my bags. I've got my broom and mop hanging up. And it just works. Yep. And then I've got the art wall, which is cool. Should paint this door. There's still a lot of things to do around this old place, but yeah. And up in these cabinets, on the top um, shelves, I have extra canned stuff. Now this isn't clean, <sighs> not really at all. Extra canned food and different things up on top. And then here is the only part of the cabinet that I actually have laundry stuff. So just a little bit of things, iron, clothespins. I mean, how much do you need, right? Um, in this one, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Just take a little tiny peek. Oh, that's enough. That's, uh, whoops. See, we're gonna fix that. <laughs> um, that's like hardware stuff. And then here's another little tiny peek. These are places that I need to declutter and clean up. So I'm not showing you all the way. Just a little tiny peek. This is wild medicine and um, whatever. Pfft, smoke detectors, that's where they go. To die, right? Okay, so that's it. I probably made you dizzy making this video. Hello. So you survived that. So um, it was funny because uh, after I made that, or as I was making that video, I realized, oh my goodness, look at this paint on the floor. Look at the um, light switch plates. Awful. Now that I'm telling you, you can go back and look at everything if you didn't notice it the first time. <laughs> um, like, why did I paint the door? I mean, I spent like two weeks painting here. I didn't paint the door. It looks awful. Okay. So ha knowing that I'm, you know, taking the camera around, then I'm starting to notice all these things like, oh my goodness, look at this. And oh my goodness, look at that. Well, anyway, that's the way it goes around here. Uh, and everything doesn't get done at once, but now I have some little more things to work on. Right. Um, so, uh, back in the summertime, I had this book I think I got this from my mom's books. My mom passed away last year and I ended up with a lot of her books. Um, and this one's called Home and Health. It's from 1907, which is really cool. Uh, and it goes through like the different rooms in your house and just talks about, you know, the old fashioned things that they would do. Well, it had a little section on closets and um, it really spoke to me because you know, I don't really think about my closet because my closet is not perfect. And I just don't know what to do to it to make it any better, but um, I do want to improve it somehow. So I had my mind like thinking along these terms. Well, so uh, we have the laundry room, you know, or area. It's in the hallway, as you saw. And so that right there, it's okay, you know. I really don't mind it. I really don't. But um, before it was really piled up and I didn't think about really caring about it very much until recently. So. But this kind of can go for that too because it talks about a little areas in your house. And let me read this little bit to you. Um, okay. The closet may be considered a part of the bedroom and should be cared for at the same time. It ought to be kept as orderly and clean as the more public rooms. Um, mine is a little bit public, the laundry room, because you have to walk through the hall to get to the bathroom. Uh, do not make it a dumping place for soiled clothes and all manner of things that you wish to put out of sight. <laughs> soiled damp clothing will mold and breed foul odors and make the closet a pestiferous corner close to the sleepers. Now we don't want any pestiferous going on. Um, anyway, here was, here's the little part that really kind of spoke to me and it made sense for me. Let's see. Such little corners show the character of the housekeeper's work quite as certainly as the more public places. <laughs> so yeah, if you go into anybody's house and start looking around in their cabinets and things, right? <laughs> That's not really fair. <laughs> because I, I don't know about you, but I'll clean everything up and then, you know, it'll go through time and stuff will get all messy again. We know that. So it's a cycle. That's what we go through. But sometimes you can... Um, put things in place, you know, like I decided I'm not setting stuff on my dryer anymore, except for I put the laundry soap on there and I'm not, you know, 
piling things up anymore. So I put a few little systems in place. I hung the things on the wall and you know, it really worked for me. It was just a few little things that really worked for me and it's made my life somewhat easier. At least when I walk through there, I'm not like, Ugh, you know, because there's a big giant pile of clutter on the dryer. And so that is with life, you know, we, uh, sometimes we tend to overlook these little things that we allow in, you know, it, maybe it's a little white lie or maybe it's, um, a little cuss word or a bad word that you let slip. And then pretty soon you're saying a few of them, you know, sometimes we have to nip those things in the bud, the little things. Um, and we, sometimes we need to get, find these little areas in our homes these little areas in our hearts that we think don't matter very much. So I don't know. I think, you know, they, they do matter. And, and sometimes these little wins, we might not be able to do something about a whole r big room, you know, maybe the furniture we don't like or something. Like that. So we should take advantage of the chances we have to find little places that are easy to fix and that can make us feel a lot better about our home or, you know, doing certain chores like laundry. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.